I'm Patrick, Project Manager for Wired HDH. We've been getting a lot of questions on how our FSB series of switch panels actually connects into your accessories. We've shown you the keypad and how it's programmable and how it works, how it mounts, how you can spray it with water or soda and dirt and you can clean it right off, um, as well as how you can use it with a glove. But what we haven't shown you is this control unit. Now the control unit is the heart and soul of the system. It contains all your outputs for your accessories, a power, a ground, and an ignition signal. Now when you hook this up to your dash, you're going to mount this in a location that is easily accessible to you. So when you continue to add accessories to your vehicle, it'll be easy to make them switched. Now to install this unit, all you need to do is using our supplied install kit, bring in a power wire from your battery. It'll be a 10 gauge wire and it plugs into this screw terminal. And you tighten it down. Then you bring a ground wire and this is also included with the kit. It's an 18 gauge wire. You'll bring that in from a ground location uh, in your firewall or in, in your rocker panels, wherever you can get a ground. And you plug that into the ground location. Next you'll find an ignition signal. And the ignition signal is just that, it's just a signal. It doesn't handle any power per se, it just supplies our control unit with a signal saying yes the ignition's on. Now it doesn't have to be hooked up, but if you don't hook it up you won't have the functionality of being able to tell the system whether you're, you want your accessory on all the time or only when the ignition is active. After we've done that, we plug in our quick connect harness route that up through your dash and connect your keypad. Everything's quick connect. Once you're done with that, you apply power to the unit and you have power to your keypad. Now that we have this installed, we can start to add accessories. For demonstration purposes, I have this particular light set up. It's already grounded. All you have to do is take the power wire from your accessory throw it into the specific output and the output is assigned to the specific switch. So output one is for switch one, output two is for switch two, output three is for switch three. After you add the power wire into the control box, now you'll be able to turn it on with the keypad. Now another feature we have on this is what's called auto current limiting. What auto current limiting is, is basically like a fuse in which it will shut something down in case of a short or overcurrent. And unlike a fuse, it will automatically reset itself when the problem's fixed. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to take this ground connection that's on the light, and we're going to put it on output one's terminal, thus shorting out the output. When we do this, the light shuts off, the output shuts down, and we haven't blown any fuses because it's all electronic. As soon as this problem's fixed, the light comes back on. So if you do have an issue, whereas normally you would blow a fuse and you'd have to find the fuse, replace the fuse, this is all electronic. And if you do have a problem, it shuts it down. When it's fixed, it brings that output right back up without any reset procedure.